We are back. Part two of our two day extravaganza of our Q and A here on Vlogmas on my channel. Um, was that a sentence? Perhaps. If you missed part one, uh, you can head over to that. I filmed and put it up yesterday. I'll link everything below, including Vlogmas, which, you know, pretty successful, all things considered. I missed a few days here and there. And like, will I make it all the way to Christmas? We will just have to see. More cliffhangers. Every day is a fun old cliffhanger here on my channel. Um, I am going to obsessively look at the monitor, which some of you get mad at me doing. Um, but literally as I'm doing it, she's moving. I'm a first time mom, give me a break. You know what I mean? I feel like I've like loosened up significantly uh, in terms of like monitoring her. I mostly just listen to see if like she needs me, but you know, can't help it. I also miss her when she's sleeping. Okay, let's keep at these questions. Next up, what is my favorite Taylor Swift song? This is a controversial um, answer. Not because of the song I'm gonna mention, but because I just don't know. I don't really listen to Taylor Swift. I'm so sorry. Do not come at me. And it's not because I don't love her. I think she's fabulous. I just like, one, I'm like such a dork that I'm like so behind on anything popular. And so like, I haven't seen her documentary. I haven't seen her concert on TV. Like, I don't know anything about her. <laughs> um, I like still just like know, um, shake it off. Do you know what I mean? Like that's where I'm at. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that is my favorite. Um, but yesterday I was at a friend's house and all the kids are obsessed with Taylor Swift and everyone was talking about Taylor Swift and why they love her. And I'm like, you know what? I really gotta get on board. Leave it to me to be like years behind every single trend. Um, I gotta get on board and I gotta learn her new songs, but like, I'm just not there yet. So in the comments below, let me know what your favorite Taylor Swift song is so that I can start with that. Is there one called man or guy? Oh my God, I'm so old. So my God daughter loves that one. Okay. Will you write another book? I've been asked this before. And I feel like I have actually answered this before. I would love to write another book. I'm finally sort of like putting it together in my head, how it will go and what it will be. It's just a matter of like actually conquering it and then getting like, um, the publisher on board and everything like that. So I can't imagine that would happen anytime soon, but I definitely like, I miss writing and I've toyed with the idea of like starting a blog um, and like just doing like weekly blogs. I just have a four month old, you know what I mean? I'm trying to go easy on myself, but there's definitely like, I should probably make a list of all the things I want to do in the upcoming year and years. That's a good idea, like a vision board, but instead it's just like, a list. She loves a list. I love a list. Okay. If you could have time to do one thing for yourself more consistently, what would it be? I definitely would say it would be working out. I really miss it. I am trying and like every day I wake up and I like put on the sports bra and I put on the whole outfit. I pull off the weights and I'm like, I will do it if I have time, but half the time I don't. And half the time when she finally goes down for a nap, I either am like filming or cleaning or like towards the end of the day, I'm just so tired that I'm like, I, I just can't, I just can't. Um, so that would be it. I feel like more so even for like my physical health, definitely, especially cause like, I never really got to like fully do like physical therapy recovery after the birth and after the heart failure. And I feel like it's important for me to do that. Um, but also like just for my mental health, I always feel better after I work out, even if it's just 20 minutes. And I really love Carolyn Gervin and I talk about her so much that it's probably annoying and I should probably be making money from talking about her so much. Um, but like she does offer great 20 minute videos and I've been doing those when I can. Um, but yeah, that would be like the one thing more consistently I wish that I could be doing. Someone asked, am I going to stay in my place forever? I kind of talked about this in yesterday's video in like when talking about that area over there and how I want to redo it, you know, like it's so expensive to move. And I feel like really grateful that we own this place. It's such a blessing. And I am so happy that I invested when I could and when I had the opportunity to. And the other day I was feeling really down about myself and really down about um, just sort of like my like lack of success this past couple years. 
and I'm just being so vulnerable. Um, but then I was like, oh my God, Lisa, like you're living in a condo that you purchased all by yourself. Like this is like, I mean, now it's ours and I share this with my family, but like th I, this was my doing and um, I'm trying to find like more pride in myself and like stop being so hard on myself and like looking at the negatives and really being like, you did this, you can do it again. You know what I mean? Um, and like if I can give you one piece of advice, like investing in um, real estate is so smart and I'm so proud of myself, like I said, for doing that. And so, you know, I have a lot of pride in this place. So we probably will live here for quite some time until we can figure out um, our next move. We need more space eventually. I mean, we don't need, it would be nice to have more space, but we're safe here and we have lovely neighbors and it's gated and everyone looks out for themselves, for each other and themselves, themselves, each other. Um, I know everyone in the neighborhood, like if I needed anything, I could knock on like anyone's door. So I think we'll be here for a while, but yeah, the dream would be to have a little house with a backyard. But you know, for now I'm, taking a lot of pride and joy in living in this gorgeous space that um, I was able to secure back in the day and I think I'm gonna be able to do it again. I'm putting the vibes out, guys. I, I gotta stop with the negative self-talk and I gotta talk more positively. That's on my list of New Year's resolutions. Okay. I just wanna say you were doing a good job of showing us motherhood without showing Annie. Thank you, I know it's not a question, but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work and I wanna share with you guys, but I also wanna keep Annie safe and her privacy is important to me um, until she gets to make that decision for herself uh, and probably even then we'll be like, no, 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 you're too young. Um, but I appreciate that because I wanna share my experiences with you guys and um like i mentioned in yesterday's video like vlogging um keeps me feeling like i'm still working and that i'm still like living some of my old life and still connecting with you guys but like i literally am just a mother all day long not just a mother i'm literally a mother um all day long 24 7 and so um you know, that's what my vlogs are most likely gonna be about. So I'm glad that you're enjoying this uh, balance that I'm trying to find. Would you ever dye your hair brown? You guys would kind of look like Flynn Rider and post haircut Rapunzel, LOL. I'm embarrassed to say I don't know who that is, but I always think about dyeing my hair brown. <laughs> I, you know, I'm naturally a like light brown uh, gal. A mousy brown probably and I'm always tempted to do it um but I never do maybe at some point I don't know I feel like ultimately I'm meant to be blonde we're going you know a little red this time around but I'm not like a hundy into it I don't know what color hair do you guys like on me I've been almost all colors I feel like I've been close to brown before but um okay someone asked why I made the decision not to show Annie's face and I did make a video about that, but that was like before I had her. So if you want to see that, um, check out story times. It's in the story times playlist. Um, I think that, you know, when I started YouTube, I don't think I really realized what it meant to be so public and to start to put your life on display. And over the years we've had many uh, issues where people have crossed the lines in terms of um, safety and thinking that like it's okay to like show up at our house or um, call our phone or you know um, just not not know like the the boundaries because uh, YouTube was so like uh, it was so personal back in the day. Like it felt like, you know, like I feel like there was like no boundaries between viewers and YouTubers. And over the years, I think people have obviously gotten wise to that and like 
and now this is more of a medium where it's still very personal I still feel like we have this thing going and like we can talk more personally and like more um one on not one on one but like you guys leave comments and I like read them and like it's different than being like a tv show or something but I definitely feel like it's very different than it was back in the day and I feel I definitely like was oversharing way too much information and showing way too much and you know, I learned uh, the hard way when security was breached several times that like this could also be a scary place. Um, it's beautiful and I've connected with so many of you and I've had these like incredible experiences at meet and greets and even just like in comments and stuff. But I've also had some really scary ones and I feel like, okay, well that, that was me and I made these decisions and I paid these consequences um, but I want to protect my child and she is the most important thing in the world and her safety is the most important. And I feel, uh, for that reason alone, posting her face online is just not a good idea. There's crazy people out there and I just want to protect her as much as I can. Also, I feel that, um, you know, like had my parents like posted me online, um, before I was able to say so and then later in life if I like was in school and, and kids knew it and it was embarrassing to me I don't know like I just don't want to like make choices for her in terms of public appearances until she like has the right to like say yes or no to that I don't know I don't know if I make the right decision I don't judge people in the way that they do it it's just for us personally um we just decided that like it's just not for us and like you know yeah that's it i don't know did i answer that question i feel like my brain's all over the place um we got up at 3 a.m today <sighs> so but that's the long short version of why i don't post her face online she's so cute though guys like trust me when i say she's so 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 cute baby registry must-haves i will I've been talking about this. I really sh ought to do that, like a full video of that. And so um, I'm like, raise your hand if you want me to do that. But let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. Um, I'm just push pulling this in because it's literally right here. But this is the greatest gift we've received. I mean, we've received a lot of great gifts. That baby Bjorn Bouncer is a hands down must. You must get one of those. Put that on your registry. But this has been such a lifesaver. It's a baby Einstein fish tank. It goes like on the crib. I put it in the car before, um, but we usually just sit it here and she loves this thing. It gives me a moment to like make breakfast and do some stuff as she watches it. It turns on and it's set on a timer. So like it can't be on for too long. So in theory, they could fall asleep in the crib to it. I can't recommend that thing uh, more. Also sound machines. But if you want me to do like a proper run, raise your hand, <laughs> let me know. Thank you so much for your trust and sharing your life story with us. That is really a very sweet thing to say. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I've been all over the place the last 17 years here on YouTube, mentally, physically, uh, spiritually, and um, some of you have been with me on that whole journey. And I guess not to be like super cheesy, but as we're coming to the end of the year, um, you know, I'm just, I like to review the year and I'm just like really really grateful and maybe I'll do an end of the year wrap, wrap up but like each year that I'm here on YouTube and each year that you come back and watch even if it's like the numbers dwindle it's still like incredible when I think about it and I'm so so absolutely grateful so thank you for that comment grateful for every chapter along the way but moving into this next new chapter of life in 2024 and I am thinking back to everyone that showed up for me you know, I think a lot of the negative stuff about like um, the heart failure and I know I bring it up a lot, but I'm still processing. And so, you know, thank you for letting me talk about it because I think it's important. Um, but I think about everyone that showed up for me and I'm like, those are my people. You know what I mean? Like those, the people that like, oh, I'm going to get so emotional. The people that like sat in the hospital with me or texted me at 3 a.m. or, you know, um, my crew that came out and took care of my husband and my baby while I couldn't be there. Those are my people and those are the people I'm going to be focusing on this year. So 
I'm just super grateful for that, super grateful for you guys. Who knew I was gonna end up crying? <laughs> I did, I always do. Um, no, I'm just uh, super grateful for this next chapter and um, my, my crew. You know what I mean? And you guys are that included. So thank you for being here today. Hope you have fun with this Q&A. Stay tuned. I mean, this is probably the last Q&A of this year, but I'm sure there are more to come next year. And stay tuned. There'll be a vlog up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I love you. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Ciao.